Hey, Nick Clayton here at the NSCA National Conference in New Orleans with Dr. Brian Mann, who's the Director of Applied Research for Athletics, Professor of Physical Therapy, and about five more titles. Uh, good guy, knows his stuff. Today we're going to talk about the efficacy of the NFL 225 bench press. So is it a true measure of strength? Whenever you get down to it, uh, it is for some people and it's not for others. It's got it, its flaws. Now, uh, you know, there's a line of research that Dr. Jerry Mayhew from Truman State and I came out with on this test. And basically, if at its root, if somebody can bench press 500 pounds, they can do more repetitions than somebody who can do only 300 pounds. So in that aspect, yeah, it is a strength test. But whenever you actually dig deeper, if it was truly a strength test, everybody who got stronger, they would go up on the repetitions of 225. And that's not what we see. What we do see, whenever we analyze the data and we broke it down to actually find that no, this is not an efficacious test, that it is not actually testing what it's, it's looking at. Guys that benched about 325 and below, okay? 325, I don't know what that is in kilos, but it doesn't matter. It's the 225 test, it's not a 101 kilo test. Uh, 325 and below, they're hitting that 10 to 12 repetition range, right? Whenever they got stronger, their repetitions went up. But if we look at the NSCA Essential to Strength Conditioning text, and you look at the charts, you see that even at the 12 repetitions, it's still kind of, you know, it's small, but there is a strength component there. After that, that strength component like completely drops off. So it's no surprise then that we're not seeing improvements in strength. From 12 to, oh gosh, from that 325 to around a 400 pound max, we saw that it was essentially it was strength endurance. Whenever they got better uh, at repetitions, they got better at that. And then for those who were strength over 400 pounds, really four to 500 pounds, it was strength, speed, endurance. And if we take that, you know, 400 or 450-ish, we know that, well, 400 is about 60%. And if you're trying to develop strength, speed, and we look at the stuff on velocity-based training, uh, like that was in the SCJ, we see that that's around that 40 to 60, 70% uh, range. So we look at those percentages and we're seeing that those are specific endurances. So we essentially what we're seeing from this test is it's a, the said principle come to life. It's specific adaptations to impose demands. We throw this test on somebody, we're not getting a strength measure. We're getting a measure of something, but it's not necessarily strength for everybody. Uh, Cross-sectionally, you know, if it's you and I going, you know, I'm a 500 pound bencher, you're a 300 pound <laughs> bencher, I'm gonna get more reps than you do. But uh, if we look at it long, longitudinally, this 500 pound bencher, if he gets stronger, he doesn't go up on his repetitions. There's a lot of the guys who got stronger at the higher ends, their repetitions actually went down. Why did they go down? They got stronger. It should be less of a percent of one RM then, right? Because it's not strength, yeah. right? It was a specific adaptation. It's that strength, speed, endurance, yeah. uh, or strength, endurance. And if that wasn't trained, of course you're not going to see that ad adaptation. It's kind of like wishing in one hand and pooping in the other. Which one's going to fill up first? You know, it, it's uh, the test just doesn't show that for everybody. So unfortunately, it is not. Uh, if you're, we've got to face facts though. As long as the NFL Combine is here and the NFL is doing the 225 test, a coach still has to get 225 results. What the coach needs to take from this study is realize that yeah. we need to train different aspects if we want to cause that performance to go up. If it's a strong dude, getting stronger ain't going to make his 225 go up. If it's a weak dude, you know, 325 pounds or less, which isn't necessarily a weak person unless you're talking about Division One football or the NFL, uh, getting them stronger is going to make that test result go up. Yeah. So it's more knowing how to cheat the test, essentially. How can we get the best outcome to get the best product in at the NFL Combine, rather than is this actually a good test or not? Nice. Any, any opinion on why they still run this test? Uh, I'm going to say tradition. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, a, there's been a lot of talk actually coming out of the media last year, uh, this past NFL Combine, the 2016 NFL Combine, that they're looking at changing things in the future, and I hope they do. Because some of the tests, like the 225, it came as a compromise. Other tests that are out there, like the 40-yard dash. You know, the 40-yard dash came about because I believe it was Paul Brown's punter average kick was 40 yards. So we had to find who its two guys on the ends were to be able to cover. <laughs> So we've got some of these tests that are historical. Now, is that saying that these are bad tests necessarily? No. With the 40, you can see what is their starting speed, what is their acceleration, and what is their top end speed if we break things down out and, and look at it in that manner. Uh, but for the 225 actually being a good strength test, it's not. Now, yeah. how we could actually look at things if we wanted to dial down, 
we could actually look at the velocity and use the velocity of the barbell. Of course, if Brian Manny is going to be talking about velocity, right? Uh, we can use that velocity to predict 1RM and do so very, very accurately through equations because we know that 225, if it moves at X velocity, it's going to be this certain percentage of somebody's 1RM. So then that would actually give us a, a better uh, predictor of 1RM. Nice. Well, I'll look forward to seeing you on the board there. That's it for now from the National Conference. Uh, if you're looking for more information, check out the article in the JSCR efficacy of the 225 NFL test. Thanks for watching.